friends. Today I wanted to tell you about some money-saving things that I keep in my car. Okay, first off, let me just say I did not clean up my trunk for this. It's a little messy right now, but it's it's pretty close to what it normally looks like. So here is my trunk. I um, I try not to keep too much in here, but at the same time, it, in comparison to your trunk, it might be hugely overfull. Um, the first thing I keep in here is some rain boots because as a journalist, sometimes I end up having to trudge out into the mud and the luck and all sorts of stuff. So it's always good. Also, this is a hangover from my Mississippi days. It's always good to have a pair of these in the car so I'm not ruining my current shoes. I can just throw them on if I have to go somewhere kind of ooky and shoes saved. So I consider that a frugal thing. Um, next up, this is one of the main things. This is a five in one power pack. So this has lights on it, an air compressor. It's also a jump box that doesn't have to be keyed up to another car. Um, it also, it has an AC adapter. So what it does is when this is charged, it, um, it's, it's essentially a mini generator, and uh, I love this thing. Actually, right now, if I'm being honest, it's not charged up. You're supposed to charge it about once a month, but my, um, my battery pack broke for it, so I need to order another one online. But this is a real just mental uh, saver because if I break down in the middle of nowhere, one, I have power on hand all the time to charge my cell phone if I need it um, or make a call. Two, I have some lights. Um, three, you know, if my if my tire is low or something like that, or I have to change a tire and my spare tire is low, I have an air compressor that I can do, and I can jump myself off. That help from anybody else. So, this costs about sixty or seventy dollars. I got it a couple of years ago. Everyone in my family has one of these in their car, and we use it for various things. <laughs> this year, uh, we used them for airing up our camp mattresses at Pig Fest, but. Um, it's just really nice to have. It is kind of a big old trunk and it is an investment, but I've used it several times to, when I was out on the road, power my laptop, power my phone, um, when they're, when my car, when I couldn't just have it hooked up to my car and my car running, and it's really, really nice to have. So it's worth considering. All right, next I have kind of a semi-standard toolbox, which has uh, all the normal stuff like rain gear, some extra tampons, pins, some baggies. I uh, have a tow rope. Um, this is the, right there I have a power jack, which is a little bit more um, powerful than the standard whip up jack that comes with the car. I uh, lost mine once and so I bought my own power jack because I don't want to have be stuck somewhere and need to change a tire and not have one of those. I have some rope, a cup, one of those little radio things, a little first aid kit, a um, one of those sticky tire spot um, puncture, like tire fillers. Let's see. I have another tire sealer and inflator in here, um, knife, some water, little multi-tools, um, bungee. I have a blanket in there, all sorts of stuff like that. And of course, a ice scraper for my windshield for the four days a year that I need an ice scraper. Uh, next up, I have, this is gonna be kind of weird, a tape gun because uh, this makes it really easy. I um, am currently selling a bunch of stuff on like Amazon and eBay and this makes it really easy to just like tape up a box real quick when I'm going to the post office. It's random and I probably don't need it all the time, but for the past couple of months, I've used it a bunch and it doesn't take up that much room to just have it in here. Uh, next up, umbrella. And I also have one of those in uh, easy access in the front seat of my car. Weird thing that I keep in my car is laundry detergent and quarters for the laundry machine. I, um, I have to go to a laundromat in this stage of my life and one day I figured out that just leaving my laundry detergent and the quarters in my car made one less thing that I had to lug from my house to my car whenever I did 
laundry. So that's kind of a random little thing, but it actually makes my life a lot easier because I never get to the laundromat and realize I don't have my quarters or my laundry detergent. So, all right, let's move around to the front end of the car. If you can see, I also keep a pair of tennis rackets and a pair of um, disc golf discs in here, just in some, uh, and some balls, just in case somebody wants to like take their lunch break and go um, play at the local park with me, which is nice. And that's come in handy before. So that is my car. And I have this cool thing that covers it when it's closed so no one can see what's in my trunk. All right, in the front of my car, I keep uh, just that umbrella. There is, here are the quarters I was telling you about for the laundry. A apparently empty baggie, told you didn't clean up. A flashlight and a fan. Don't know why that's in there, but, um, oh, that's probably from my pre-air conditioned car days. <laughs> All right, right here I have a little cloth to wipe the dashboard with and some hand sanitizer. Uh, right there I have some candy, but here is some sunscreen, a little knife, and right here I keep the, uh, you guys know what this is. It's a car adapter for my phone charger. And over here, um, this little thing has all of my vehicle information in it that I would need. In here I also keep some sunscreen, that's an extra pair of glasses, some sunglasses, some visor wipes, and um, this is a knife and a letter opener to open my Metro Girl mail because I do that in my car and also um, some deodorant just in case things get stinky. Uh, there is nothing in that, but the very last thing is this is a Dollar Tree tissue holder car visor thing and I use it for napkins because you always end up needing napkins in your car but I don't love shoving them in there um, and it's really convenient to just have them here where you can pull it out if you spill something so that was just a book and that's one of the best things I've ever done because it keeps them out of the way I don't have to like clutter up this area with them and they're always at the ready so that is all of the frugal things I keep in my car. There's also like a trash can back here, but um, other than that, it's pretty normal. All right, bye. All right, so um, did you think any of the things that I keep in my car are particularly crazy or unnecessary? And tell me what things you keep in your car that save you money. I would love ideas to further hoard things in my car. By the way, I do try to keep my car pretty clean and nice just because I try to treat my things well. And I, you know, saved up and paid every penny for this car in cash. So I want to keep it as nice as possible for as long as possible because it's what I have for right now. Um, and I'm very thankful for it and grateful for it. I'll link a video I did below on kind of a realization I had about not treating my car like a rolling trash bin. Like it's a little cluttered in the trunk, but overall it's clean and I keep it nice. Uh, so check that out.